The Patriots' nemesis returns to Foxborough. It's the Coats. This is the NFL 100 Game of the Week on EA Sports. Coming up, the Pats have six Super Bowl titles during their run, but it could have been eight if it weren't for the exploits of Eli Manning and the New York Giants. I'll be back with a look ahead to this weekend slate, but for now, let's bring in the two men who will call this game, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the New York Giants. From up top, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles Davis, as always, with me as well. And CD, defenses better be on their toes in this one because we got two quarterbacks who love to throw the football, and they throw it very well. Over 4,000 yards each in the previous season. So what you're saying is, if you're a defender, hope you prepared properly. Hydrated, stretched, be on your toes, as you said, because the ball's coming your way. the intended target and that'll bring up second down and the offensive starters for the New York Giants and congratulations on their win last week but they didn't get a whole lot of time to celebrate it on Sunday they were right back to work on Monday but you have to do things differently when you prepare for a Thursday night game because normally you'll take some time off here you get right back to work work on the game plan mentally and probably not put any pads on until you play again Thursday night a healthy Evan Ingram, that could be a great elixir for New York this year. And the season ago, he only played in 11 games because of the injuries, 35 catches, which was a dip down from two seasons ago when Ingram caught 64 passes. And Tate's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. Here's the former number two pick, the Pro Bowler Saquon Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. On second and 11 now, Manning, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The starters defensively now for the Patriots. And this unit, very tough to throw against. Currently second best in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this crew ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows the punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. The third door set holds it in. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 25 yards that time. Brady now on first down. Antonio Gates, the veteran tight end, was the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. So we'll look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. They tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Oh, Shane Geminis. 
Came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Finds his target. It's Gates. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 21 yards there on third down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on there. He also would have been, you put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a... Start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, grab that dagger play, grab that play and just finish him off right now, because I think they'd love to give him that big advantage early. From just shy of midfield, Brady. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 34-yard line. 
Mohamed Sanu is a guy that is often overlooked because he just quietly goes about his business. But how about last season? Had a career-high 838 yards on 66 catches, and he can also play Wildcat quarterback for you as well. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. White's numbers from a week ago, 16 carries, 66 yards. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. From the 16, Brady. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by the veteran Antoine Bethea. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's gonna go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Manning gonna hand it off to Barkley. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size and these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half, maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, when we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going to, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. No score after one on EA Sports. On play action, now Brady. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. 27 yards there, a first down. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. They've become a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. But I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And this one brought in by Sanu. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Brady gives this to White, and he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. 
Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball to come in his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stock. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. They were going for it on fourth and inches, now fourth and five. Yeah, everything had built to a crescendo, hadn't it? Fourth and inches, I mean, we were coming out of our chairs up here. Now on fourth and five, you've got to think about whether you want to go for it or not. Been a bit of a dogfight thus far into the second quarter now, and we do have our first points, a field goal. Yeah, a lot of people say, wow, first action on the scoreboard, about time to me. The action's been right there on the field, trying to figure out who could gain an advantage, gain some field position, finally get points on the board. I'm loving this kind of game. <laughs> and feels like kickers might play a big role in this one. Yes, make sure you give them the respect they deserve. They could cost you a game or win you one. And New York set to take the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. The Giants on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. From the gun, it's Manning. Looking for Shepard deep. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Getting set to go again, Mohamed Sanu is marching back onto the field now. He's well on his way to a 1,000-yard season, maybe on pace to just tear past that, Charles. Defensively, they need to pay a little bit more attention to him? Yeah, I think so, because remember, throwing the football, that can shred a defense quicker than anything else because as soon as the catch is made, he still has the ability to, you know, yards after catch, get downfield, gain even more, score touchdowns, all of that. This is going to be a lot of fun to watch as this progresses to see how they defend him and how he changes up his game in order to try and keep getting open. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. They'll run with White. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Brady. Gates with a grab. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. On second down. It's White. And he's taken down inside the 30. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. 
Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving him a whole lot of credit and thanking him for that much space to rumble. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Cover, cover! Brady going to throw. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Dayon Buchanan. He brought the pressure on the blitz, and he gets there for a loss of 12. Enough takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Here's Brady. And that's complete to Gates. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 16. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Here's Samoa on the catch. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. Got to go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one. From the gun, it's Brady. It's complete. James White. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Give him 16 yards on the play. And that'll make it a second down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is a modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Again, it's Brady. With that grab, he now sits it. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Muhammad Sanu. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Bryant's extra point up and good. And the lead grows to 10-0. So that one, a long 11-play drive. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Yeah, after the touchdown, here's Bryant now to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Let's go! The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And now the clock reads precisely one minute to go in the half. Do you want to run the one-minute offense? This is a good test right here. It certainly is, and definitely not a time to think about kneeling and going into the half. This is a chance to attack a little bit, but not having to get everything in one shot either. 10 yards here, 15 there. Work the sidelines, work the clock. Give yourself a chance for at least a field goal going into the half. Now he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Riley Dixon now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And now Edelman. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Patriots take over. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield, as he gears up to go again. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football. And they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. 
Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. The final shot before half for Brady. He's airing it out for Sanu. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and CD in a minute. First, it's time to take a look at what we've got coming your way this weekend in the NFL. Some great games coming up on Sunday, highlighted by a 1 o'clock matchup in Miami. A good test for the Dolphins as they'll host the Washington Redskins. The late afternoon games hold some intrigue as well. A good one being up at MetLife Stadium, where it'll be the Jets taking on the Dallas Cowboys. And finally, on Monday Night Football, a good one in the NFC North. Lions and Packers from Lambeau to wrap up the week. In the game you're watching, it's who else? Tom Brady with a strong first half. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already, and that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Patriots to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak, and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Shotgun now for Brady. Slam round caught by Edelman. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Now how many times have we seen that third down and Tom Brady turning to old reliable Julian Edelman? There's no Rob Gronkowski now. Edelman, the main holdover, the 33-year-old who was a Super Bowl MVP last season. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Yeah, let's go set lunch. First down, here's White. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. From the 40 now on second down, Brady. That's complete to White. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Is this intercepted? It is. Interception.
It's intercepted. Picked off by Dayon Buchanan. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. The completion good for three, and it's second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with it. And now the ball comes out. Manning lost it. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, the teammate is able to come up with the ball. Now Manning. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We hit a wall, so to speak. And it hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. On second down now. It's White, and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Brady's throw there complete. With James White, you know that he can catch the football. He was third in the NFL amongst running backs last year with 87 catches. And as we've seen, sometimes they come in bunches. Super Bowl 51, he had 14 grabs, including the winning score. Last year in the divisional round versus the Chargers, 15 receptions for White. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's now one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when and told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Brady now to throw. And that's complete. It's Watson. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now you can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On second and seven, Brady. This will be caught by Brown. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. James White, his second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yeah. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Bryant tacks on the extra point. Back now in Foxborough. Where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Giants. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself. And he's hit and taken down. Eli sacked. John Simon in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Manning. He's got his man. This is Tate. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. The Giants on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and seven. Manning going to throw. And that is incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is emboldened in the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Now, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage, and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Eli Manning, of course, forever linked with his nemesis in this game on the other sideline, Tom Brady. And gosh, if it wasn't for Eli Manning, Tom Brady could have eight Super Bowl rings because the two times these two squared off in Super Bowl 42 and Super Bowl 46, Eli Manning getting the better of Brady both times, and both times was named Super Bowl MVP. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and ten. To throw is Manning. Finds his tight end Ingram. And they've got it inside the ten at the eight. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Manning now to throw. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That time, the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. This is third and goal. Still looking for the first points of the game. Now Manning. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Kyle Van Noy with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They'll go for it. It's Manning. 
Dennis is incomplete. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. So they finally get their first trip to the red zone, and it ends with nothing. And that's what I'm going to focus on with you, because you teed it up really well. Finally get to the red zone. So it's got to be a little bit of frustration, because they haven't moved the ball as well as they wanted to all game. Now they get there, but we got to go for it because we don't know if we're going to get back here again. We don't know how many opportunities because they've been sputtering a little bit. Absolutely. At this stage in the second half, to get there and not get it for the first time, tough. Going on the ground, it's White. And an out of the run. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Here's White. The tackle made there by Dayon Buchanan. I think you'd have to say defensively, these guys are doing their job pretty well, right? Yeah, we talked about them holding them under 20 points, right, on defense. And they've done that. They've held them. The problem is their own offense hasn't answered their challenge, which was to score more. Yeah, exactly. I remember you saying magic number was right around 20, and the offense has been the issue. You're right. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. They'll say no gain on the play there. And now it'll be third down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise. Because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it, it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lot behind it. Wow. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy. The other team's going to be unhappy. It's like, what did they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how did they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, no, that's you, partner. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. On second and 11 now. Manning, he completes it to Tate. And they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. Throwing is Manning. A gain there of 21 yards. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. On first down, Manning. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Looking to throw again on second down. Manning gets this out to Saquon Barkley. The Giants are going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Manning now on first down. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. The intended target, Saquon Barkley, at its second down. Back to the air on second down. It's Manning. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack. Back at the 47-yard line. 
Kyle Van Noy, his second sack of the night. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I uh, mean, you Did know. enough, though. Did enough. But, yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So for the Pats, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 and now through the first month and a half. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week where they take on the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for the Giants, the loss here will move them back to 500 at 3-3. Three and three. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.
I will be right back, I gotta run to the store.
business here.
Got a personal radar drone ready. We're halfway there. Keep fighting. Copy. Jaguar 30 in route for personal radar coverage. Friendly support helo is down. Hardball, well earned. 